Witcher and Fable are some of the more modern beloved franchises in the RPG scene. While the first wasn't rising on Apogee as time passed by, the other one fell from grace as new entries came into the market. What's up you damn gorgeous and beautiful gamers, and we will come back to role-playing games. Why don't you get comfy, like the video, and since you're already on that, subscribe to the channel, I'll invite you up here on that. Anyways, this news come with such a huge contrast that I mentioned that disparity of rising on the market, because there's also a huge disparity about what made a game great, what made the other not so much as time passed by. Like we saw with Fable, falling from grace with each new entry of the series. Before I move on onto that, let's go through the official stuff that we actually do know. Pavel Kapala, I'm not quite sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, pardon me if I am not, a former senior designer of combat mechanics for CD Projekt Red, recently changed his LinkedIn profile to showcase that he's now working on Fable at Playground Games as principal gameplay designer. Prior to that, Capella worked on some of the combat mechanics for gunplay and melee weapons in Cyberpunk 2077, as well as specific encounters and boss fights from The Witcher 3. He's also responsible for that damn beautiful thing you may know as Quant. So that much is promising at the very least. Now that we went over his credentials, let's talk about the thoughts. The Witcher 3 never had a great combat system, it wasn't that, mind you. But it was as smashy as it can get. Build design and characters offer little to no substantial change to embolden you to try a different playthrough based solely on the gameplay or your character build. Although, I do have to say that while The Witcher 3 combat system is smashy, it is responsive and functional as well, with a pacing that actually feels like a modern game should feel like. Unfortunately, it misses the individuality different monsters would have, could have, if it had a more complex combat system. The Witcher 3 was such a great and beautiful game because of the narrative, the level of depthness that side activities offered to you as a player, and how every single little thing feels like an intrinsic intricate part of the main story, rather than an independent side context offered. For that and much more, The Witcher 3 was, and still is, one of the most important and beautiful games we've had in the more modern RPG scene. Fable follows a similar pipeline. It is one of the very few RPGs out there that actually make you feel immersed in a fairy tale. But much, much beyond there, a fairy tale for grown-ups, helping us connect with our inner child while still maintaining that gruesome and mature slash immature British comedy narrative that it has that's the main signature of the narrative of Fable. The character building in Fable follows mostly the basic strength, agility, and magic builds that you can mix at some extent, and some entries a little bit more than others, mixing up magic as well, but it never risks to go really deep in more complex character building mechanics. Both universes are damn, damn amazing, and that's a huge part of why they were such a great success back in that time. Battle system, while responsive, was never a huge reason as to why these games were such titans of the industry. That all being said, neither of these games are vastly recognized to have such a deep combat system or character build mechanics that make them shine or stand out in this department among the sea of other RPGs that we have out there. One important thing to have in mind is that if you have been following my Fable coverage content, then you know that Playground is changing directives left and right. I'll have those videos at the end of the video of this video in the card in case you're interested in watching those as well. But the Poland programmer seems to be a new addition to the company. As a lead directive of gameplay and battle systems, how much does he know about the previous coding and development techniques used already in Fable is uncertain. Will he be starting the combat department from scratch? Will he be able to continue the labor that his predecessors left? That is something that we can only ponder in thought. One amazing thing, though, is that he is one of the great minds that brought us the beautiful one to us. And we all know what a great success went was on The Witcher 3. Went was a side activity on The Witcher 3 that had literally no impact whatsoever on your save file or your main game world. It wouldn't give you weapons, it wouldn't give you armor, stat points, maybe it could get you laid sometimes, but what doesn't get you laid in The Witcher games? Still, me personally, I found myself ignoring tons of hours of base gameplay, just to freaking play Went. That's how good that thing was. Went was so popular, 
that it got its own separate and independent card game that was actually quite popular, let me say, on its own as well. That being said, there's lots to talk about this news based on the official info we do have. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's discuss all about Fable and the Witcher combat system, the preoccupant situation of directives changing left and right. I would very much love to hear from you guys and what do you think about this new addition to the company. That being said, that's all from me. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates, guides and reviews on the latest RPG games. Don't you ever forget that each and every single one of you little people watching Mary Old James, each and every single one of you are beautiful people. Stay beautiful, but mostly stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you later.